doing it. <laughs> Luckily for Heather, I'm good at that. Um, okay, so I'm the maid of honor, and I have known Heather since seventh grade. I have many embarrassing stories of us, but you know what? That's going to take about three minutes of my speech, so I'm just not going to say any of them. So I'll just tell everybody about how we met. <laughs> and this defines our relationship. So one day in math class, uh, you know, we were all getting assigned our locker combinations and where we're going to sit and everything. And, uh, you know, me and Heather were sitting out of lockers for a pretty long time. Ah. Well, turns out we were the only two in class that couldn't open up our lockers. <laughs> so I looked over at her and I'm like, okay, we don't know. And she looked at me like she was going to cry because she was, you know, glad she found somebody else who couldn't open their locker. And we both helped each other open our lockers, and ever since then we've been best friends. Um, so it kind of defines our relationship. We help out each other when it's needed, you know. Um, well, enough about me. We're going to get to Josh and Heather. Um, I don't know if most of you know this, but they actually met in preschool. They were in the same preschool class. Confirmation class. Always confirmation class. Okay, I got that one wrong. Um, anyway, so they were in the same, well, whatever, they met in the confirmation class, and since then, she saw him and she thought he was cute. Okay, you said preschool. Missy. No. I'm going to check my email. Okay, anyway, so I got that one wrong. Um, anyways, so they met in marching band and fell in love. Who knew a baritone, playing a baritone, and a flute, you'd find true love? Really. Who would have thought that? But ever since the moment I met Josh, I saw in Heather's eyes, Oh gosh, this guy's the one. It's finally happened. She's finally going to get married. I knew the moment I met you, though, she loved you so much. Ugh. <laughs> this is why I needed the paper, so I wouldn't cry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. I am so happy for you, too. I'm so happy you found True love, and oh my god, I, I never cry, she knows this. So anyways, everybody can see in this room how loved they are, and I'm just so happy that you guys have found each other. <laughs> it's okay, there's no more pictures left. There's no more pictures, you're good. Okay, anyways, so, uh, here we go, okay. <sighs> This is a great speech, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm so happy she finally found Josh and is going to live happily ever after here. And, well, maybe might not. I'm not quite sure, but wherever they end up, why not might not, right? Um, okay, so there's one piece of advice I really want to give you, Josh. If she really wants to buy a pair of shoes, even if they're like, maybe $300, just say yes. Because you'll make her the happiest woman in the world. <laughs> Look at her too. Yes. Okay, here's a toast to the bride and groom, Heather and Josh. May you live happily ever after. All right, and Mr. Strafascia. I almost handed the microphone off to my dad. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I, I look around the room and, and all I really can say is wow, because, um, you know, Butch, nice speech, man, hard to fall. Um, you know, the, the, I, I, I owe everything that's, that's up here between the two of us to everyone sitting down there. Um, Really, 
I mean, the, the fact that all you guys drove all the way up here to the middle of nowhere in North Dakota uh, to hang out with us for a couple days, uh, see our home, uh, you know, join us in the ceremonies earlier today, and you know, be here with us at dinner tonight. Um, I, I can just say, wow. Uh, yeah, I love all you guys. Um, the, uh, the place looks great. Um, I, I trust you on a, on a Friday night when the squatter's in here. It does not look this clean. Um, <laughs> so I, I know you guys did a lot of hard work too, putting this together. Uh, I'd like to take thank uh, you know families on both sides. Randy, Darla, at the bar, Chris. Thank you guys for hanging out this week, helping us out. You know, uh, Sherry, I think she might have run to the bathroom. Um, Dad, Mom, um, just appreciate everyone coming out here. Uh, you have no idea how much this means to us to have everyone here. Um, anyway, enjoy your meals. Enjoy the evening. Uh, we're going to be having cake later, obviously. Um, dance floor. Don't be shy. Get out there. If I'm out there, let's face it, go out there. Nick, don't scare anyone off the dance floor. <laughs> but uh, no, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Both of us, thank you very much for coming.